morning. You can only see my face and a little bit of a nice color. You probably can't see where I am exactly. So I'll tell ya. In Naruma, photographing probably one of the most popular beaches, uh, rocks, etc. in the far south coast of Australia. And that is the almighty glasshouse rocks. So uh, I'm here probably about, yeah, it was about 30 minutes prior to the sunrise. We'll go do some exploring and I'll, um, while we do that, I'll actually tell you something interesting, so. That's incredible. I was here once before and I actually got a really nice sunrise shot. And it was with my 700 to 200 mil lens. Fantastic lens. Uh, but there's, there was only so much I could zoom in. And um, I will, in this video, I will show you kind of the, the comparison between the the 70 to 200 and 100 to 400 in terms of perspective and what it does in terms of uh, image compression, which uh, with this one, that rock, especially with the wide angle lens that I'm using on that pocket that you're viewing the, the video from, the rock is quite small, but the longer the focal length, so you know, we're, we're talking, you know, 200 and up, the bigger uh, that rock in the background gets and uh it just it just looks fantastic so stick around folks we're nearly there all right so just to give you an idea this is what i'm seeing at the moment and uh i'm sitting quite low to the ground reason being is purely for stability reasons i've got a very I've got a lens with a very long focal length and stability is basically paramount at this stage. There's hardly any wind, if anything, but I do want to keep it low and uh, I want to keep it a bit sheltered as well. The other reason I'm here as well is because I'm trying to sit as far back as possible to be able to get that, to be able to get that rock to really be emphasized. Now, the other thing to mention is I got it on self timer about five seconds. I think that's enough to stabilize the image. But what I've done now is I've taken a short. That's the focal length, so you can see I'm I'm pretty much right there in terms of the the, the image. And just quickly, at f before I go, focal left length 400. Really, the whole image is uh, the glass house rock. In, I don't know. There's something about that image, I reckon, if, if there were some maybe birds up there or even if we had really nice golden light, would just absolutely pop and give you that intimate kind of look that you really can't experience because you can't get that close to the rock from that side anyway. Uh -huh. It's cool. All right. Let's do it. Let's go further out.
Fuck me. So I've gone quite substantially further back. I'll show you where I was. But even, even now, you know, I'm sitting less than 300. I am looking at a landscape portrait. So I should say it's lands, landscape orientation, one third of a second, F5.6, ISO 100. I'm still zoomed in quite a bit. Uh, and look for those photographers, photographer connoisseurs, aficionados, professionals. They probably won't like this image for the fact that it's not balanced. So what I mean by that, I'll show you the image now, is that the rock is sitting on one side of the image and then you just got the, the sky on the other. Although that can work quite well in terms of advertising agencies. So when you have an image like this, you're allowing all that negative space or the cloud, the boring cloud to uh, for, for them to have it on a poster as an example and have writing there and still be able to see the their, uh, the glass house rock. It's important to understand the scene you are shooting. A lens is like a paintbrush. They will both make an image, but the final result will depend on the brush you used. In this example, I have four images with variable focal lengths resulting in four complete different images. At the end of the day, my favourite was this one, the one that breaks all the photographer's cardinal rules. My point being is go out there, take photos, try different lenses, don't worry about rules and have fun. Photography is art and if you like it, that's all that matters. Thank you for watching YouTubers. Until next time, hooroo.